Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you saw in the previous lesson, you have the ability to edit the individual work availability schedules of selected work resources within your project file. These scheduling changes are made as deviations from a selected base calendar, such as the standard calendar, or the night shift calendar. These base calendars are the calendars that you select when initially creating your project file in order to choose a default work availability schedule for your project. Sometimes you may need to create a new base calendar for ease of use within your project file. For example, you may choose to use the standard calendar for your project file since the majority of your work resources will use that as their default work availability schedule. However, assume that you also used a pool of part-time people as work resources who only had a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. work schedule availability at all times. In this case, you may want to create a new base calendar that you can assign to each work resource as they are entered into the resource sheet so that you will not have to individually adjust each resource's work schedule availability as we saw how to do in the last lesson. This can be a real time saver as you can select a base calendar directly from the resource sheet view for any work resources that you enter. That way you won't need to adjust each resource's work schedule individually. You can create a new base calendar by clicking the Change Working Time button in the Properties group on the Project tab within the ribbon in order to open the Change Working Time dialog box. This dialog box allows you to change the working time for selected resources or change the default base calendar used for your current project, as well as create new base calendars. In order to create a new base calendar to use in your project, click the Create New Calendar button. Doing that will open the Create New Base Calendar dialog box where you can enter the name that you want to give to this calendar into the Name text box. You can select to either create an entirely new base calendar, or you can select an existing base calendar to modify as the basis for your new base calendar. If you select to choose to use a copy of another calendar as the basis of your new calendar, then select the name of the calendar to copy from the drop-down that appears within this dialog box. When you've made your choices, simply click the OK button to continue. In the Change Working Time dialog box, you are now viewing the base calendar that you have just created. You should see its name appear in the For Calendar drop-down box that appears at the top of the Change Working Time dialog box. Next, use the Work Weeks tab to set the new default work week schedule for this base calendar. You can also set any base days off on the Exceptions tab if needed. Now once you've edited the work availability schedule for the calendar, click the OK button within the Change Working Time dialog box to save the new base calendar. At this point, you can select the name of this calendar from the Base Calendar drop-down wherever that choice appears within your project file, such as within the Resource Sheet view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.